Hi there. One of the most affable characters on the chess circuit is perhaps Lev Psachis, Israeli grandmaster and former Soviet champion, who is sometimes affectionately known as the Siberian Bear. So this is the Siberian Bear Trap from the game Gelfer against Psachis in 2002, and it's in a type of Nimzo Indian, Queens Indian hybrid. So d4 and the Indian with knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, white's going to play e4 if allowed. So black plays bishop b4, the Nimzo Indian defense, pinning the knight on c3. Knight f3 was played, and black traded immediately on c3. Bishop takes c3, b takes c3, and Psachis now intends to fianchetto the queen's bishop with the move b6. Bishop g5, developing by Israel Gelfer, and uh, pinning the knight on f6. Israel Gelfer now is, I think, the, the vice president of FIDA. Bishop b7 now, developing e3 and h6, now driving the bishop back to h4. Black plays d6, and after developing bishop d3, Psachis plays g5, dangerous type of move, because now black's never going to comfortably castle kingside, but he gains time on the bishop on h4, which retreats back to g3. Now knight bd7 is met by castles, and queen e7 by black, uh, signalling perhaps the intention to castle long. Knight d2, white retreats the bishop back to d2, perhaps aiming now to push e4 in the centre. But h5 was played by Psachis, a Noah's Ark type of trap with the pawn heading for h4 to trap the bishop on g3. So h4 prevents that from happening. Maybe h3 could have been played as well. And rook g8 is met by e4 when black finally castles. White to play now. It's still more or less equal. White could survive perhaps here supporting the center rook e1 or queen e1 would be preferable to the move played by Israel Gelfer. H takes on g5, because now it allows the rook coming in, uh, if you like, with the temp on the uh, g file. Rook takes on g5. Knight f3 hits the rook, but it moves to g4, gaining time, adding more forces to the pawn on, to the attack on the pawn on e4, while intending to double rooks with the rook d g8. So knight h2 hitting the rook again, which goes back to g7. Bishop g4 and rook d g8. So we've reached the position, uh, or close to the crux of this position, where black is intending rook takes on g2. And if the bishop moves back to g3, then h4 is going to be played. So Gelfer plays g3. And here, I should say, is the, the critical position of this trap after 19 moves here Psachis found a lovely winning line the move is uh, related to this relative pin on the knight on f6 where the knight can move if it so wishes at the cost of the queen because here after knight takes on e4 giving up the queen if bishop takes on e7 then Psachis has this sacrifice rook takes g3 check because after f takes g3 Rook takes g3 check, sends the king to its only flight square in the corner on h1, and then knight f2 is checkmate, double check, releasing the bishop on b7, and the knight on f2 is checkmate. In the game itself, Gelfer didn't go for uh, bishop takes queen, rather went for queen takes on h5, but found himself losing after f6. So this has been the Siberian bear trap in a type of Nimzo Indian, Queens Indian hybrid. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.